What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Off the Schneid. Right now we're going to be talking about the Baltimore Ravens heading into the 2021 NFL Draft. Uh, we got a couple needs, everything. All the needs for the Ravens are going to center around what happens with Orlando Brown, in my opinion. He's made it no secret that he wants to play left tackle um, and he wants a trade. The Ravens have given him permission to seek trade. Um... It's just a matter of whether or not that happens. Like there's a reasonable possibility that this is how the Ravens offensive line looks heading into 2021. If it is, it's much less of a need. If it's not, then obviously they're going to if they do end up trading Orlando Brown, they're obviously going to have to address it. One scenario that I've kind of floated around in my own head um is it's an interesting one, and it would be really interesting if it happened, and it would be really, really, really good for the Ravens, in my opinion. You go ahead and trade Orlando Brown to whatever team that's looking for a starting left tackle for a first-round pick. Then you go ahead, call up the Saints, say, hey, first-round pick for Ryan Ramchek. He's in the final year of his contract. Um, the Saints are up against the cap, and they probably will be moving forward. You know, they, they, they do have more draft capital than they had the prior year for the Saints. That's a very good scenario for the Ravens, in my opinion. You shore up right tackle. You complete your line. Everything looks good. It's no longer a need in the draft. Um, who knows if that's possible or not? We'll see. But it was an idea that I kind of was floating around in my head, which would make a, a, a fair amount of sense, to be honest, potentially for both teams. It makes tons of sense. And then the Ravens keep their first-round pick and shore up right tackle everybody's happy um i do still think that they could you know add a piece it sounds potentially like bradley bozeman might move to center he played center in college so he might move to center we'll see um ben bredson i like tyree phillips is there um so we'll see what happens and it all for me it all centers around what happens with orlando brown um other than that this team is still pretty complete they got a lot of solid pieces the only other kind of hole that pretty much everybody sees and and you know you can i'll make an argument whether it is or not is wide receiver um they bring in sammy watkins they lost willie sneed here's the big thing for me i truly believe i think that they have the pieces in house right now to be effective on offense passing the ball um obviously you got mark andrews you got receivers that can catch the ball in the backfield um you got marquise hollywood brown doing his thing with the speed on the outside very good receiver you got guys that can fill in for sneed in the slot sammy watkins devin duvernay james prochet miles boykin i really like he hasn't quite taken that step but here's the whole thing is it greg roman is the problem just greg roman i don't know we'll see it's a question that I float out there for sure. And I think I, I, I'm sure that I'm not the only one. I know for a fact I'm not the only one. Is Greg Roman just the problem? I don't know. Um, but again, I, I think that they have the pieces in house to be effective. James Prochet and Devin Duvernay both caught over 100 passes in their, their final year of college. They can catch the ball, you know. They, they got the pieces. In my opinion, they have the pieces to be effective on offense. Is it just Greg Roman? We'll see. Um, so I guess you could say a need is wide receiver. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I think a bigger need is obviously going to be right tackle, depending on what happens with Orlando Brown. On the defensive side of the ball, you got a lot of the same faces, but um, the, uh, t to me, there's not a ton of guys that are getting after the quarterback here. Um, the, the Yannick Ngakwe experiment didn't really work out. Matt Judon's gone. Jalen Ferguson and uh, Tyrus Bowser haven't exactly kind of, you know, taken that step to being a guy. We'll see if they get there this year. They might. I do like, uh, obviously, Clays Campbell, still just a stud vet, been been doing it for a long time. Uh, I do like Justin Madubuki quite a bit. Uh, Derek Wolf, another guy that can continue to get it done as a vet. Um, Brandon Williams, I think you're going to need either, uh, you know, a replacement, a competition guy, a future guy type of thing. Brandon Williams has missed games in three of the last four seasons. Justin Ellis isn't, you know, he's 30 years old and he, he's not anything to kind of write home about. 
I do like their their uh, linebackers a lot. Um, Patrick Queen, interior linebackers. Patrick Queen is fantastic. Malik Harrison, I like a lot. LJ Fort works hard, gets the job done. Um, corners are in a decent position, more than decent position, but you could always add a piece there. Uh, Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey, Tavon Young, uh, nothing. Anthony Averett, nothing wrong with those guys there. Averett, um, safety, depth could be you know addressed it's not an extreme need but um you know a lot of the same pieces a lot of the same types of guys but they definitely need somebody to get after the quarterback a little with a little more consistency now that judon's gone um so there you go i mean for me the whole thing with the ravens is going to be what happens with orlando brown that's the whole thing and with their draft capital as well they have all of their own picks right now maybe sorry not all of them but all of the picks that they have are their own picks um and we'll see if if that uh that idea comes to fruition where Ramchak is the right tackle of the present and future and then this line is just in a, in a very good very good spot um and then is it greg roman we'll, we'll find out i think i think this is a make or break year for greg roman i think if um i i don't think john harbaugh is really going anywhere but if this offense in particular stumbles and he might be dealt kind of a tough hand because this defense isn't as good as it's been in prior seasons so um you know it might just be what it is right i think greg roman might might lose his job after this season if they if they continue to kind of sputter on offense and it seems like a lot of the players have vocalized their displeasure i guess with greg roman and uh you know we've heard a lot of um his play calling is predictable is is the word that has been thrown around when talking about Greg Roman's offense. So we'll see. There you go. There there it is for the for the Ravens. I think in order of need, it'll depend on what happens with uh, with Orlando Brown, but wide receiver and uh, a nose tackle, big nose tackle, and uh, some depth behind Derek Wolf as well as um, pass rusher. For sure. Pass rusher is a big need for them. So there you go. Uh, Appreciate the watch. Hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. And we'll see you on the next one.